We would be honored if you would join us. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection action figure review. We've been excited for this one, he finally showed up. It is Clone Commander Rex, Brucker mission from the Bad Batch. Um, he's always going to be Captain Rex to me, he's always going to be Captain, not Clone Commander. I know technically, at the end of the Clone Wars, he did become Commander Rex. Um, but, you know, in my heart, he'll always be my Captain. Uh, yeah, VC317, for those playing at home with the numbers, counting along. It's a picture of the figure side of the packaging pretty much just a sort of a stock image now this is technically the third release of rex in the vintage collection you did get an earlier release um just as captain rex from the clone wars and then he had another bad batch release as part of that four pack that came out a year or two ago um that one i missed kind of glad i did just didn't quite hit the mark this one a little bit closer i think they're still tiny little bit of tweaking that can be done to perfect this Rex, but I'm digging it. Honestly, I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to busting him open. We're going to do a little comparison at the end to to one of the older ones, which I've actually customized myself a little bit. So we're going to go through that and um, let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here is Clone Commander Rex out of the packaging. Looking pretty damn good. Get a little bit more close, get him a little bit closer up than that. Accessory wise, he does come with two of these wee little blaster pistols. Very, very small. Very, very small. But they do the trick, they do fit in his holsters there. I've already put one in there. We'll give him the other one. He does have trigger fingers on both hands which is a big win. So I'm happy about that. I guess the pauldron, technically not an accessory, but kind of is as well, because it does come off. I foresee myself actually, you know, gluing that down where it needs to be, just because I don't like the way that sort of, you know, wobbles around. It's a little bit funny. And I've, I've glued them down in the past, so. I'll probably have a look at the best spot for that. Try and centralize it a little bit. And glue that on. And the other one is, the other accessory is his, is his helmet. You see here, this is a new sculpt. Does have the adjustable rangefinder this time, which is fantastic. Nice sort of the detailing with all the tally marks, the J guys on the front, the little vents on the side there. Probably the only little gripe I have with this figure is is the sort of the weld marks. Um, it's almost just sort of a bronze and grey sort of stripe. Uh, there's no sort of, it's just, it's very clean. It's very, very clear and obvious. If we take a look at the previous version of the Vintage Collection uh, Rex helmet, if I pick it up off the floor right now, um, put this side by side. So you can kind of see this one, the new one on the right there is sort of scaled up a little bit. Probably a little bit more of a, a nicer size. This one always felt a little bit small. But with the sculpt on this one with the weld, weld marks, I find that to be a bit better. Even the colouring, it looks a little bit less, I don't know, clean. It looks like it's sort of been welded together. But yeah, if there's going to be any gripe, that's probably, probably my only one at this stage. But otherwise, 
I think the helmet looks pretty damn good. As you can see, it's got that double barbell in there, so you can do the head swap. We'll do that afterwards. But for now, we'll take a look at the uh, the actual head sculpt of Rexy here. So it is pretty damn nice. It's um. Very much looking like Tamura Morrison, which is fantastic. They uh, got the got the hair right. Yeah, it's pretty much just painted on the bald head, which is fine. It's a little bit better. That sort of last Bad Batch Captain Rex, it was sort of just a repaint of the the standard Clone Trooper, I think. And he had a little bit of a flock of hair. I don't know if it was as drastic as. Um, maybe it was, they just reused the Hauser, Hauser sculpt, I think just painted it sort of that blonde, bleach blonde look, whereas now they've sort of put a, put a good coat of paint on that bald head, it looks fantastic, like, this is three and three quarter inch, you know, this is just bang on the money in terms of looks. If you'd have shown me this figure 10 years ago, I'd have gone, no way, that's not real. Because <laughs> he does look fantastic. Again, this is sort of using the new clone sculpt. Which is nice to see. Nice that continuity to go through. The clones finally come to Rex. He's got that sort of armor up there which can move. So give it a little bit of flex. Again, you got that sort of the welding stripes down the front of the down the side of the uh, chest armor there. Uh, this looks a little bit more jagged, a lo little bit less sort of straight and clean to what it is on the helmet. And on that side as well. It was very clean. Um, I know Hasbro's kind of over the over the years they've kind of gone well we'll give you the troopers clean and you can weather them up if you like rather than selling weathered figures and people having to clean them <laughs> to have them looking good so i'd prefer it that way too i'd prefer them looking clean rather than sort of pre-weathered because sometimes that weathering doesn't always come across so a few people were a little bit bummed that the belt is sort of not realistic style I guess it's a bit more of that sort of animated style I'm okay with that I think it looks fine it does does work for for Captain Rex or C Commander Rex whatever the soft goods karma which is nice it looks good sometimes that's a little bit tricky to pull off as well but they've done it here I think that looks nice and yeah just the just the blue blue's a nice rich vibrant blue and tally marks painted on his armor looks good. It's a pretty nicely clean painted. It's a nice, nice bright white, which is good. So we're gonna pop that head off. It's a nice tight, tight joint. We're gonna put that pauldron back on Rex there. We'll pop the helmeted head on. I'll be honest, this is probably the way I'm going to display him. I may end up getting a second one to, you know, have Rex with his helmet off. Yeah, he looks good. It's a, well, it's much nicer. Like I said, I don't have the original vintage version. What I do have is a couple of, um, a couple of other figures here. One is a bit of a, a custom that I did a few years ago, so I'll run through that in a moment. But yeah, you can see slightly different in the helmets there. Um, Articulation-wise, it's got that double barbell joint in the head, as we saw. There's ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinges in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists, and up and down on the left wrist, and in and out on the right wrist. We have the torso joint. We have ball sockets in the hips. We have swivels at the upper thighs. 
We have a good hinge joint in the knee, hinge joint in the ankles, and a rocker in the foot. So all the good articulation that you would like. And we'll do the old peg test on our KR stands, Kessel Run stands. Beautiful, look at that. Using that sort of medium sized peg. He ain't going anywhere. Fits perfectly. You can get him, get him in a good pose. You can get him running. It looks good. And yeah, like I said, just to do a little bit of a comparison here is, here's one I prepared earlier. Um, now this is using a few parts. This is using parts from, I think it's the lower legs, the karma and belt, the lower arms. Sorry, let me focus on that again. So yeah, the lower legs, the karma belt holsters, the lower arm from, and the pauldron I think from the other vintage collection version of Captain Rex. Um, the upper arm, torso, upper upper thighs from phase two. Just a stand, or stand, sorry, the previous vintage collection phase one. And then the helmet from a Clone Wars animated phase two, which I have here. This is the second version with the articulated knees. So yeah, there's a sort of had to, had amalgamation of three different figures to come up with this Rex, and he's uh, definitely served his purpose well. I think even the helmet, I attached the rangefinder, because this Clone Wars animated one here, that was all fixed on, whereas this one, I've managed to make it move I can't remember doing it, but I obviously did. We'll pull that off another figure. Just to give it a little bit more. Well, everything else, but yeah, definitely a lot more sort of animated in its in its style there. But yeah, bringing him in next to the new one. Scaled a little bit better this time. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty, pretty, pretty wrapped with this new Clone Commander Rex. I think he looks good. Yeah, like I said, only little gripe would be the uh, the weld markings on the helmet. Probably the only thing that's sort of, it's not even a big bummer. It's fine. It's doesn't look terrible. Probably even if that sort of cheek part was eliminated, it wouldn't be so. I don't know. I'll see what other tweaks people are doing with theirs. But yeah, hope you enjoyed taking a look at, uh, let's face it, it's Captain Rex. <laughs> I appreciate you tuning in and keeping an eye on my channel. I appreciate your support. We'll see you again very, very soon for some more figure reviews. Until then, may the force be with you always.